Good morning and welcome to another week of Children's Online Service. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you're all well and had a great week. Special warm welcome to anyone who's joining us for the very first time. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy this lesson and I hope you learn a lot more about Jesus. So now please all join me for our time of praise and worship. Please all prepare your hearts, prepare your minds and enjoy this special time with him. For taking part in that worship please join me as we open in prayer dear lord thank you so much for that special time of praise and worship thank you father that you were here with us that you were amongst us and that you as you said you inhabit the praise of your people that means you are here you're amongst us you're dwelling amongst us and we're just so grateful that you're with us and you have never left us at all we pray and thank you for 
this service, O oh Lord. We pray that this service shall be a blessed one and that we shall learn more about you and that we will be able to face every single day boldly knowing that we have our Lord by our side, going ahead of us, leading us, guiding us, comforting us and strengthening us. We thank you for our friends, our families, our teachers, our pastors and all those people that you have put in our lives. We thank you for them. We thank you for our own lives, oh God. We are so blessed. We are so blessed to call you our Father and we are so blessed to have Jesus to die for us and to make us new. We thank you, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. We bless this service and we bless each and every single one of us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It's offering time. <laughs> So now it's time for this week's lesson. Hey kids, if you could ask God for one thing, what would it be? Maybe it'd be a cool new toy, or maybe lots of money. Well, in today's lesson, we're going to learn about a guy named Solomon. He asked God for something very important. After David died, his son Solomon became king of Israel. Do you remember King David from our last few lessons? Well, eventually he got really old and died. As he reached the end of his life, he gave his son Solomon some words of advice, and he made him king. After Solomon had been king for a while, he prayed and asked God for something that he thought would make him a better king. Maybe he asked for big muscles or a strong army. What do you think he asked for? Solomon's one request for God was for wisdom. Wow, but that's not what you expected. He could have asked for anything in the whole world, and he asked to be wise. But what does it mean to be wise? When you're wise, you know what's right and you know what's wrong, and you choose to do what's right. That sounds like a good quality for a king to have. Solomon showed his wisdom with two women and a baby. One day, two ladies came to him with a baby. They were fighting over it because they both said they were the mom. Solomon knew that only one of them could be the real mom. So they told him they should just split the baby in half. One woman said to do it. The other woman said the baby wasn't worth hurting, so she can just have it. That showed Solomon who the real mom was. It was the lady who didn't want to hurt the baby. It took Solomon a lot of wisdom to come up with that plan. And that brings us to the lesson for the day. Don't forget to pray for wisdom. Solomon was wise because he asked God for wisdom not for anything else he did. That means if we ask God for wisdom, he'll give it to us. Memory verse. If you need wisdom, ask our generous God and he will give it to you. We can be just as wise as Solomon if we just ask for it. So kids, next time you're thinking of what to ask for, if you can have anything, remember this lesson. And remember, toys and money are great, but wisdom is better. Amazing, I hope you enjoyed listening and watching that lesson we saw Solomon who could have asked for anything he wanted but he asked for more wisdom he could have asked for more power more money more of anything but he asked for wisdom we can define wisdom as knowing what to do and when to do it and also making good decisions Solomon went to no other better source than God God is the creator of all things, me and you, the whole entire world, and he knows all things. And there are a number of ways we can seek wisdom from God. Like Solomon, we can go to God directly in prayer. When faced with tough decisions or just wanting to seek more wisdom, we can pour our hearts out to God. And he already knows what we're facing. 
and we bring that to him and he can help us make the right decisions every single day on our daily walk with him. Another way we can find wisdom is to ask someone that we know and trust. The best people to ask are our parents, our teachers, our pastors, or someone older than you who you trust and think you can, who you think can guide you into making the best choice. Another way to seek wisdom is by reading our Bibles. Every answer that you need is right there, big or small. Whatever choice, whatever help or guidance you're looking for, there's a verse in the Bible for that. We all face tough decisions in life and sometimes it's hard to know the right thing to do. But thank God we can go to God to receive the wisdom we need to make the right choices. for this week's new memory verse and it's taken from the book of James chapter 1 verse 5 and it reads if any of you lacks wisdom you should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault and it will be given to you what a blessing it is that we can ask God go to him for wisdom and he gives it out freely in abundance all we have to do is have an open heart and be willing to receive and he just pours out wisdom in abundance what a blessing So now it's time for this week's activity. Game time. Bike bark. How many times can you say the key verse before the time is up? Say it with me. If any of you needs wisdom, you should ask God for it. He will give it to you. God gives freely to everyone and doesn't find fault. James 1, verse 5. Get ready! 3, 2, 1, go! Big well done to everyone who took part in that scripture game. I hope you enjoyed it and found it a fun way to memorize scripture. I'm sure by now you all have the memory verse in your memory, you know how to recall it, and if teacher just points out at you, you will know how to recall that scripture and you'll be able to use it over the course of your week and it's a scripture that will stay with you. So now it's time for us to share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. And surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. So now it's time for our 2021 confession and it reads 
I trust God for a year of unusual elevation. I will humble myself daily and stay radically committed to God's word, God's will and God's ways, no matter what. As a result, I will shine brighter and brighter and reflect God's glory every day and in every way. In Jesus' name, Amen. That's the end of the service. See you next Sunday.